Welcome to the Josh Power, where we give you fun, entertaining news in a boring political world. My name is Josh Simonji, your host. And let's jump right into it by reading your comments. So today's first comment is from Eli v Uh, ooh, I can't say his last name, whoops. <laughs> Eli commented on our last video, uh, no more Fox, question mark, Josh Pod number 14. Um, and he's talking about Disney, and he says, Disney essentially has a monopoly on the entertainment industry now. Do you think they're going to drive up prices of services like Hulu? Are they going to change shows? I'm most worried about them altering The Simpsons. That would suck big time. Hopefully they keep the film crew cast of these shows the same. My reaction to Will Smith not being in Suicide Squad 2? That's hot. Wow, interesting. Um, so I agree, Eli, with everything that you're saying. However, I don't think prices will go up because that'd be spoiling this episode. So we're gonna answer that question in a minute, what I think is gonna happen with Hulu. And also, just a heads up, it's not called Suicide Squad 2, it's now called The Suicide Squad. Yeah, it's kind of a reboot, sort of, maybe, I don't know. And then our last comment today is from Jonathan, uh, my brother, so yeah, woo. Uh, he says, Bush did 7-Eleven. If you want to be famous, uh, comment down below on YouTube uh, and put your opinions, your thoughts, questions, anything you have for me so I can read it on the Josh Pod. If you're listening to the audio version of this, then um, get on YouTube and comment. Or you can just send me an email um, at simonjiproductions at gmail.com. That's S-I-M-O-N-J-I productions at gmail.com. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, today we're talking about pretty much everything Disney. So what better way to start off this conversation than with a brand new segment called The Disney Dump. <laughs> so today we're talking about Disney's recent deal with Comcast. And for those of you who don't know what Comcast is, it's the giant company that controls uh, famous properties like DreamWorks, Universal, and NBC. So Comcast has a small stake in Hulu, uh, the online video platform service where you can watch movies, TV shows, pretty much anything online without the need of a cable box. However, as of May 14th, 2019, Comcast plans to no longer have a stake in Hulu. They decided to make a deal with the dreaded Disney. Yar. So let me explain to you who exactly owns Hulu. There's pretty much three big companies that uh, have shares in Hulu. One is Disney, no surprise there. Disney actually has 60% of Hulu, which makes it the largest shareholder of Hulu, followed by Comcast, which has 30% of Hulu, and AT&T, with a puny little 10%, oh, little 10%. One month later, so uh, this is April now of 2019, AT&T sold this little bitty share back to Hulu. Uh, for $1.3 billion. Yeah, $1.3 billion for 10% of Hulu. That's pretty crazy. Which means that Disney now has 66% of Hulu and Comcast owns 33%. So one month after that, so now we're in May of 2019, Disney and Comcast made a deal for Disney to assume full operational control of Hulu since Disney has the larger share. Pretty much the main idea is that Comcast has the ability to sell its share of 33% to Disney in 2024, okay? So that's about four and a half years from now, they can get money for their 33%. If Comcast decides to do that, sell their 33% to Disney, they're looking at a minimum of $27.5 billion. That's a lot of Jurassic World movies that we don't want. <laughs> but again, they have to wait four and a half years in order to get the money. Disney, on the other hand, has unlimited power. What I mean by unlimited power is that Disney has full control of Hulu, like right now. They don't have to wait four and a half years to control Hulu and you know do everything operational wise. They get access to it right now. So this means that Disney owns Hulu, ESPN Plus, and soon Disney Plus. The three online streaming services, it's pretty insane actually. I'm guessing with these three streaming services, they'll make everything seamless. Like if you use your credit card or account on Hulu, let's say, Disney can then offer you like, oh, we're doing a promotion right now. Here's an add-on of ESPN and Disney Plus. Pay an additional $15 a month, question mark? So, I mean, I'm assuming it's gonna go that way. I don't know for sure, it's all speculation at the moment, but I'm guessing that's what they'll do. Frankly, I'm kind of nervous what Disney's gonna do with Hulu. It's gonna get its white 
three fingered gloves into it, you know, and then to start messing everything up. Hulu was like your one stop shop for like live TV shows, uh, movies, um, just regular TV shows, like old ones. But now that Disney owns it, are they planning to kick them off type thing and just make everything Disney? I, it, it's really unclear, but if they were to do that, that means shows like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Parks and Recreation, Rick and Morty, those are just a few, but theoretically, those would be all kicked off. And like, where exactly would they go? I mean, there's been rumors that Warner Brothers wants to take Friends off of Netflix and that NBC Universal wants to take The Office off as well. Would they then make their own streaming services and then make you, if you want to go watch The Office, you have to sign up for Universal streaming service? Or if you want to watch Friends, you have to sign up for Warner Brothers streaming service? I mean, it's just so many streaming services going all over the place. Do we really want that? I mean, I personally don't. I, I liked how Hulu was able to combine a bunch of stuff together, get a bunch of properties, and just you can watch, you know, binge watch a bunch of different TV shows, no matter what the property was at the time or what company owned it. Same thing with Netflix. But slowly, things are being taken off of Netflix, like Disney's announced they're taking all their Marvel stuff off Netflix, and I'm assuming just pretty much all their Disney stuff in general, too. So I'm really concerned what's going to happen the next few years uh, regarding streaming services. But hey, what do you guys think about it? Would you rather pay like, you know, a hundred bucks a month just on streaming services? Or would you rather be like me? You should be like me. <laughs> or would you rather, uh, you know, have everything in your one streaming service, like a Hulu or a Netflix type thing? Comment down below. Man, that was a mouthful. Hopefully everything in the near future will not be owned by Disney. Because that would be, yeah, that'd be a lot. But there is one show I know for absolute certain that will not be owned by Disney. And that's the Josh Bod. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not, it probably wouldn't be a good look for Disney to own the Josh Bod. But anyway, thanks for watching the Josh Bod. Uh, like and subscribe if you have not already. Uh, on our channel, you can hit the little bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we post a brand new episode. If you have not already, be sure to comment down below. Leave your opinions on this topic or just, you know, leave whatever kind of questions you have for me. Oh, of course, if you're listening to the audio version of this, you can uh, rate us on iTunes or SoundCloud. So at least give us four stars, at least four stars, because five is too perfect and we know I'm not perfect. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time here on The Josh Pod. <laughs>